Now that we know a few things about importing files and, and exporting data, let's go ahead and try an example where we actually take in a file and do some things with it. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet here. I'm going to click my plus button. And here I'm going to we'll go ahead and just call this financial data. And we're going to import a CSV file. So I've got an, a CSV file that I downloaded, but I'll, I'll link this in the video here. Uh, I'm going to import and I'm going to upload a file and we're just going to go ahead and upload this sales Jan 2009 file. I'll go ahead and open that. We're going to trust Google Sheets to kind of build this the right way. I'm going to replace this current spreadsheet. Uh, we're going to detect the, the separator character automatically and we're going to convert, convert text to numbers and dates. We're going to go ahead and import. So that's going to take just a second. It's going to take a look at our file and here we go. We've got all of our data. Load that up. And you can see we get a, a nice CSV file here, but uh, it's not all super well formatted and we can probably do a little bit better. We might not necessarily care about all of this as well. So let's go ahead and change a few things. So now that we've imported this file, let's go ahead and make a proper header row. So I'm gonna select all of these and I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to change the background. Uh, Let's go ahead and change here. We'll make this a dark blue. Actually, yeah, dark blue is good. And then we'll make the text white so it stands out a little bit better. It's also bold there. And you can see now we've got all of these. Now, I'm also going to change some of the headers. So I have transaction date here, but we're gonna wanna present this. So I'm gonna make that transaction date. And I'm also gonna make it a little bit bigger. So now that I've got my data and I've got everything in, I'm going to change the formatting and we don't, you know, we don't necessarily like this date format. So I'm going to click format and I'm going to go to date and we're going to change this to maybe this type of date. So now that I've done that, I can just find that space in between and I can double click and expand that to fit. So now it fits the, uh, the column size perfectly. And you can see I've got all my dates maybe formatted the way I want. And if I want to make that a little bit bigger, I can just click and stretch that out a little bit. Or I can right click, I can go to resize column and I can say, let's just make this a nice even 150 pixels. Product is okay. Maybe I care about this. Maybe we'll use that later. Price. I've got a price column, but it's not exactly the way I would expect to see a price. So we can go ahead and change that to dollars and cents. Maybe we don't care about the decimal point, so we can make that, you know, just dollars here. Payment type, that's good, but let's go ahead and rewrite this so that it doesn't have that underscore. And here we have a name, and we have a lot of first names here. Maybe we don't care about the names for this. Maybe we'll just delete this column altogether. So you can right click there and just select de delete column. And we might care about the city and the country, but maybe we don't care about the accounts here. So, or maybe, and also the latitude and longitude. So let's go ahead and delete that. So now we have a much uh, more a more simple spreadsheet here from the CSV data and we might want to stretch these out we might have some longer city names and you can see here if we scroll down we've got a few of these that are very large and maybe we want to make the city the state and country a little bit bigger as well so we can go ahead and expand that so now we have a spreadsheet that might look a little bit better and if we want to you know maybe we want to expand on this a little bit maybe we want to uh, maybe we want to know the average price here that we've sold and you can see if we scroll down there's a lot of 1200s there's a lot of 3600s or 1200 or 3600 maybe we want to know what the average price is you know maybe we want to just calculate some summary data I'm going to go ahead and create another sheet and I'm going to call this summary we're going to go ahead and we can either we're going to end we can either enter text here and format it the same way so i could say i'm going to enter total sales and i could either make that bold here or i can use the format painter and i can select one of my headers click that format painter and go ahead and just make that the same format or i could just copy and paste one of these values and if i copy hit Control C or Command Z or Command C, and then come back here and hit Control V or Command V. I can copy that in, and then I can just change the text. So total sales, average sale. Now that we have these, we can actually calculate these using one of the functions that we learned in the last lesson. Uh, we'll just say equals, and total. We'll say sum. We'll use the sum function, and from here we can now click back to our first tab, and we can just hit the C column. And what this will do is it will give us a sum of everything in that C column. We can go ahead and enter after we hit, uh, press that. You can see we have a 
actually a pretty decent amount of sales from the spreadsheet, 1,630,500. And that looks okay for now. Uh, and we, if we want the average sale, we just do the same thing, average. And now if we hit that the uh, left print, uh, we can go back to sales gen 2009. We can hit that C column again and then close that, hit enter. And you can see our average sale here is $1,634. We could also count number of sales. And now that we have this here, we can just format paint that right on top. Maybe we want to make this a little bit wider. We want to make this a little bit narrower and we can just use the count function to count the number of values and we will s click on that first value I'm gonna hold down shift and alt or shift and command and press down or shift and control and, pr and press down if you're on Windows and then I'm just going to hit enter and that will count the number of values and if you look at that we're going all the way down to row 999 but we don't want to include that header uh, so it allows us to very quickly summarize this data. Entering each one of these one by one would be kind of complicated and tedious, but now we can report on this much more simply. Now, if I, now that I have this summary, uh, I can actually look at the average and the total, you know, just using these basic formulas. The big interesting thing here that we haven't done yet is we're actually referring to values on a separate sheet and we're referring to an entire column. So if you see here, we have the sheet name, it's sales Jan 2009, just like the sheet name down here on the tab. And we use an exclamation point to then identify uh, the separation between the sheet name and what we're actually looking at on that sheet. So CC gives you that whole sh that whole column, that whole C column. And we're doing the same thing here. Now, notice we're not counting everything in the C column here. If we actually were to do that, if we were to uh, count uh, sales Jan 2009 exclamation point CC, what we would get is well we'd actually also get the same thing here because it's counting the numeric values instead of that header uh, if we were to change that header to a one you would see now if we come back it's going to automatically update that to 999 but we don't want to do that so now you can see this is counting the same number of values but we can use either method here uh, this is going to count the number of values between and we're within our range or also count the number of numeric values in our range uh, but two different ways to, to represent that and you can see how importing this saved us a lot of time instead of having to enter these one by one or to copy that out of some other source now if we want to actually export this we can file we can download as a PDF let's say we just want to use a nice PDF here so we're gonna click PDF and now we can uh, just save this maybe we want to change this to a portrait page and you know we can use more normal margins maybe we want to you know make it a change or mess around with the uh, the formatting here uh, we can add he headers we can add footers we can show our grid lines or remove them here it doesn't really matter much and then we can look at our headers and footers and we can add page numbers we only have one little basic bit of data here so it might not be super useful but maybe we want the sheet name and maybe we want the workbook title and maybe the current date and time you know so if we look at this now we have the current date and time down at the bottom so that's very good I'll hit my export button I download that PDF and then if I were to open that same PDF you'll see here we have this nice PDF file that we can open in Chrome so just a, a very basic exercise of imp importing some CSV data and then uh, trying to build some conclusions based on it to identify some statistics and some basic information. Thanks for watching.